Since the first little girl ever existed, there have been dolls. Citation needed. Who left all these kids alone in the desert? Are they abandoned? Are their parents watching off screen? Is this a Tatooine daycare? I need answers. Setting tea for four when there are five of you present. Monster. And this has been reflected back onto the little girls of today in the real world. Thinking that Los Angeles is representative of the real world is like thinking sheep secretions are representative of chewing gum. Sure, technically it's in there, but it's not the part most of us usually choose to focus on. Who is in this pink plane and where is it coming from and going to? This better be covered in the Enchantables movie. Eschewing the modern miracle of privacy that is walls. I mean, Barbie is great and everything, but saying she can walk on water is going to end up getting your movie boycotted in about 35 states or so. Well, let's not show Mitch, actually. She was discontinued by Mattel because a pregnant doll is just too weird. What's well, weird about being pregnant? This is in the 60s in the Bible Belt when a woman showing during pregnancy was uncomfortable for the masses and you were encouraged to stay home. This is f***ing 2023 and she should be publicly breastfeeding while giving a TED Talk. Barbie has another big day ahead of her. This roundabout has no stop or yield signs. I know the cars are driving at a slow pace, but Barbie Land is still modeled after some version of America. So you should assume the drivers don't know how to use roundabouts and will crash their cars into a fiery death heap anytime they have to figure out how to drive in a circle. How come you're so amazing? <laughs> no comment! Ah! <laughs> no, seriously, no comment. Making two comments about how you were making no comments. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Not bothering to put down your Barbie weekly during the daily Hi, barbie a There are no multiples of Alan. He's just Alan. Well, that's a lie. In an hour, you're going to tell us the other Alans escaped into our world and became in sync. So there are multiples of Alan. They just aren't in Barbie land. I love you, Helen Mirren, and you're perfect in this role, but lying is still a sin. <laughs> No. If I wasn't severely injured, I would beat you off right now, Ken. I'll beat you off with you any day, Ken. This beach is off for all the some beach. Okay, look, I can't play the music, but the next two and a half minutes are an explosion of tight choreography, amazing set design, beautiful costumes, body positivity, and generally everything that makes this movie the resounding success it is. So just take a sit off, because even my stone heart can bleed. This is the movie's second shot at Midge, and can we just stop for a second and ponder the horror of a life that this woman leads? She's eternally pregnant, eternally bloated, eternally heartburned, eternally incontinent. That's just the normal stuff. The only good thing is that she never has to actually push the volleyball through the garden hose, but still. Hey, you can't do a flip like that, Ken. The movie will eventually want us to believe that the toxic mass Ken Linity that invades Barbie Land is a result of Ken's visit to the real world. But it's clearly here in full force right from the start of the movie. At the very least, this perfect world should have already been alert to the concept of an asshole, even if their bodies didn't have one. Margot Robbie is killing it with this trying to keep a smile while pondering death dance. It's actually very similar to her amazing transformation through Babylon. And now I'm just mad that more people didn't see Babylon, because Barbalon is a much better movie portmanteau than Barbenheimer. Hitch isn't present to scold Ken over the 90-10 rule in this scene. Every night is girls' night. Mm -hmm. Every night. Forever. Then at some point, shouldn't it cease to be girls' night and just become night? If all you've ever known is the girls hanging out every night forever, why would you even need a name for it? Calling it girls' night would be redundant. Good night, Barbies! I'm definitely not thinking about death anymore. Thing I tell myself every night as my head hits the pillow and the lights go out somehow makes it into the script. Is Barbie reading my thoughts? Is that something they can do? Is there like a Scarlet Witch Barbie? I mean, printing expired right on the box seems like you're just planning to fail. <laughs> Oh, girl, you okay? All this time, the person singing has been aware of what is happening in Barbie Land, as it happens in Barbie Land. Who is the singer? Is she in the real world? Is she in Barbie Land in some tower watching all things transpire and singing what is seen? I've been wondering who this character is since the first song, and it's about damn time I got an answer. Kenton Tarantino. I know I'm stereotypical Barbie and therefore don't form conjectures concerning the causality of adjacent unfolding events, but some things have been happening that might be related. Having stereotypical Barbie form a conjecture concerning the causality of adjacent unfolding events. Huh. Didn't realize that was something stereotypical Barbie couldn't do. Thanks for the assist, movie. Giving your child too much artistic freedom. What if I want to actually play Scrabble, Gloria? What then? Creating a gate you could just walk around. <laughs> Mark. Sorry about the dog crap. Why would you be sorry about the dog crap when you must be the one putting the dog crap in the dog's mouth so it can poop it out? If you're sorry for it, stop feeding your pets. Wait. I'd like to see what kind of nude blob he's packing under those jeans. I am becoming more and more confused by what these Barbies do and don't understand about sexuality. At the very least, little Gloria's parents should probably check in with her soon. What do I have to do? You have to go to the real world, okay. and you have to find the girl who's playing with you. Oh, boy. 
It could be a boy playing with her. This must be why this movie's derided so much for not being woke enough. Also, for the amount of information that she just happens to have at her disposal, are we sure this Barbie isn't sold as expositional Barbie? How, how did the Birkenstock win the title of most opposite of high heel shoe battle over the Doc Martens or the Converse? How? Like, put them in the ring and the cork shoe wins? The shoe that absorbs foot sweat and becomes a biome of foot funk. How did this happen? Don't tell me the hippie population had enough money and advertising dollars to tip the scales. It's actually a sports car to a speedboat to a rocket ship to a tandem bike to a camper van fun to a snowmobile. That's just ridiculous. No one thinks camper vans are fun. Like I should move forward but do the order backward or don't overthink it oh okay that's a legitimate question and you're just gonna pull a tenant by claiming it works best if you don't think about it i blame malcolm gladwell for all this bye barbie trapping a mermaid in your swimming pool aka ladying the water <laughs> but how did ken sneak into that back seat there were people all around the car when it left and f off with your barbie land logic no one ever said anything about invisibility did you bring your rollerblades I literally go nowhere without them. Liar. Or are the rollerblades invisible too? Smiling during the process of active suffocation. I feel what can only be described as admired, but not ogled. And there's no undertone of violence. Mine very much has an undertone of violence. I'm not sure how you pull off including this level of biting social commentary at the same time as delivering drop dead laugh moments, but I'm sure this movie deserves to sit off for figuring out the exact recipe. Hey man. Oh, you guys gotta pay for that stuff. Stereotypical Barbie is totally fine with stealing clothes and knows how to throw a punch. Is that actually right? You know what? Keep them. Somehow the police get to decide that Ken and Barbie can keep stolen merchandise. Also, why are they being printed again? Not like their prints would have changed from earlier in the day when they were arrested for punching someone. Also, also, there is no way these two would be doing synchronized finger inking with this many cops curiously overseeing. This is Venice Beach. Believe me, they've seen Stranger. Also, my job is also, Ken and Barbie wouldn't have prints or a body cavity to search. Upon being captured, these two would be passed on to the evil scientist people for autopsy and analysis. Can I go that way? Yes. Okay. Don't go far. Okay. And then Ken walks from the police station that is actually Santa Monica City Hall all the way to Century City in f***ing cowboy boots, which should take him approximately two and a half hours. Great workout, man. Man, man, man. You're the man. No, you're the man. Sharing a carton of ice cream that you are both eating directly out of. Your mother-daughter sentimentality is no match for my germophobia movie. Trying to pull a full Toy Story 3 within 30 minutes of starting your movie. That felt achy, but good. A well, strange way to describe the absolute pain that must be surging through her face as she instantaneously develops the right biological components to produce tears. You're so beautiful. I know it. Hey, remember how the reality of our world gave so much poignance because of its relation to the plasticness of Barbie Land? Yeah, the movie is now going to make the Mattel Corporation feel even faker than Barbie Land in an attempt to ruin it all. Skyscraper elevators that are already at your floor the instant you push the button do not exist. I said they don't exist! The Mattel headquarters is located nowhere near the Warner or Discovery headquarters. And this building is a corporate lie forged from the depths of commercialism by hellfires of synergistic greed. Aaron whispers to one executive, yet both begin to whisper towards CEO. This is the perfect opportunity for the CEO to get some kind of wonky message at the end, but instead he becomes the first person in history to get the whisper game correct simultaneous in both ears, and that is just insane. Barbie in the real world. That's impossible. I know, right? No one rests until this doll is back in a box. And now we're just doing the plot of Toy Story 2. It's almost like we've already covered most of the toys in the real world possibilities before. Speaking of which, isn't Will Ferrell basically just reprising his role as president business from the Lego movies? This movie should have been called Please God, Not Another Sentient Toy Movie. You're a Nobel Prize winner? Oh, no, not me, but Barbie is. I get that most everyone is named Barbie, but that doesn't mean you can't understand the concept of plural Barbies. This is like when I learned that a group of Lego pieces are technically called Lego. That. We call them Legos, so they're Legos. It's plastic bricks. Get over yourself. Come on, Sasha. Give it to her. Destroy Barbie. Sasha will now say a lot of terrible things about Barbie that also happen to have the interesting distinction of being completely true. It's a cell phone so powerful that the movie won't even really attempt to engage with it at all. And Mattel gets to feign self-awareness as they laugh all the way to the bank without changing a thing. The power of movies. You set the feminist movement back 50 years. Come on, Sasha. I don't think you're giving enough credit to organized religion. These books appear to be sorted by relationship to masculinity. Dewey didn't sacrifice his decimals for your convenient storytelling movie. Can I talk to a doctor? You are talking to 
into a doctor. While Ken's exploration of the patriarchy is hilarious, this is the kind of subliminal, subtle sexism that he wouldn't suffer from. It comes from a world where only women are doctors. His internal bias would be that she would be the doctor. That's not changing within a few hours of picking up a horse fetish. Then I can't hire you. I can't even beat him! <laughs> Ryan Gosling is so good in this, I have to sit it for letting a man steal so many scenes in the Barbie movie. But I thought we could go get some soft serve. Thank God they arrested that nut job. Ignoring an offer to get soft serve. I don't care if my kid's being baptized. If someone in the next pew asks if I want to go to Dairy Queen, I'm leaving right then and there. She thinks she's Barbie. Wait, what did you say? She said she thinks she's Barbie. And she said it just as you happened to conveniently pick her up at the exact point that Barbie was getting taken away. Oh, and she conveniently picked this moment to have a conversation with you about it, even though she's a sullen teenager who probably doesn't want to talk to you most of the time. So what can I do to repair the rift in the space-time continuum? The space-time continuum? Was there time travel that I missed? You literally just took a geographical trip via a series of transportation devices to a world that was previously impacting you in real time. Don't you go all endgame on me, Barbie. The sin counter will not be friendly. Get into the box and you'll go back to Barbie land. I know she's going to escape but now I kind of want to know how that would work. Would the box teleport her back? Would they just carry the box back to Barbie land? Would it put Barbie in stasis? Explain to me the mysteries of this woman's box. This is not a tandem bike and badass Barbie clearly said to a tandem bike. I don't know where Ken will end up for this mistake, but if he ends up in Polly Bucket land, it's about to go down. Women are the freaking foundation of this very long phallic building. Unless the architectural style is neoclassical chode, you might want to rethink that statement. Get in the box, you Jezebel! Wait, now I'm confused. If Barbie is Jezebel in the story, is Ken King Ahab? And who is Elijah? Damn it, I knew I should have paid more attention in Sunday school. Did that elevator just open for her without even pushing a button? What the f***? You know what? F*** you and the mind reading elevators you rode up and down on. Why are all these executives running like they're in a Talking Heads music video? These are actual humans in the real world, right? Phew, good thing for the locks a door with a broom while being chased cliche and that there always happens to be a spare broom directly on the other side of doors with handles like this. <sighs> oh sh! I remember this scene. Look out, Barbie! A bunch of smiths are about to come through those doors and try and turn you into a clone of them! Who are you? A nostalgic stab at corporate absolution? Irrepressible thoughts of death Barbie! Mattel did not immediately release this Barbie in a limited series with a coupon for a month of free counseling after this film's debut. <gasps> came for you! Aw, what a beautiful notion. I'm glad the rest of this movie will wrestle with the ennui that comes with adulthood and parenting and how this mother and daughter can reconnect and find common ground. Or maybe it will just be Ken doing patriarchy sh in Barbie land and these two will quickly become an afterthought with a hand wavy resolution. Yeah, probably more of that. Those were your memories. Hold up, if they were her memories, then why did Barbie's vision lead her to Sasha? Shouldn't it have led Barbie to Mattel's headquarters so she could meet Gloria right away? I need to know the rules for Barbie premonitions. I love women, I wanna help women. Fun fact, having Barbie say, I love women, is actually the closest lesbians come to having any rep in this movie. You even had Kate McKinnon, but we couldn't get any sapphic Barbies? Women hate women and men hate women. It's the one thing we can all agree on. And that you better check the toilet roll before sitting down. That's another one where we seem to be on the same page. Where did you ever drive like this? There was this guy. His dad? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was dad. Thinking your teenager isn't able to handle processing your sexual past and its relation to your sudden stunt level driving skills. How did we get into these clothes? How did we get into this vehicle? I wasn't gonna say it because Barbie magic gonna Barbie magic and all, but since you brought it up, I'll count it. Oh, that's strange. That's all it took was one dude spouting patriarchy stuff and the whole world changed instantly? Yeah, feels a bit weird to me too. Hi, Barbie. Movie forgets how to include the shot of the person it's trying to cameo. What have you done? Better question, how has he done it? How have merchandise appeared from thin air with a thought? Ken has somehow created new vehicles, grills, couches, clothing, and beer. Are the Kens able to think things into being? Mojo Dojo Casa House. <laughs> the fact that Mattel actually sold a Mojo Dojo Casa House, Ken, after this movie made fun of the idea of them selling Mojo Dojo Casa House merch, tells you everything you need to know about the actual real world we live in. You know, now that you Barbies aren't around to run everything, we can do our hair however we like. Was that something the Barbies control? If the Kens are superfluous, I have a hard time believing the Barbies cared enough to manage their hair. This is like in the 1500s with the indigenous people in smallpox. They had no defenses against it. No! You cannot compare a contagious disease to the shifting of a deeply ingrained cultural bias. If this were true, Barbie would have been able to spread matriarchy to the real world just as quickly. Let's recap all the amazing changes and innovations thanks to the Ken. Sorry, Barbie Land, for self-aware news position is actually still just news position. It's not Barbie's Mojo Dojo Casa House. Right. How's that feel? It is not fun, is it? 
Wait, is the movie actually taking Barbie Land to task for its sexism against men? Are we supposed to be feeling empathy for Ken here? Wow, that's fascinating and bold. I mean, as long as the movie actually has the desire to really fight through the ideas of power dynamics as it relates to the discrimination and neglect when the roles are reversed. Or maybe it will just be Ken doing patriarchy sh while the Barbies manipulate them to put things back the way they used to be, and it will quickly become an afterthought with a hand waving resolution. Probably more that. Barbie Land was perfect before. Was it? Do we need to revisit the fact that 50% of your population was unhoused? Because by those metrics, Portland, Oregon is perfect. Oh, honey, that's life. It's all. Is that Barbie's younger sister I hear? Because it sounds like it's time for a skip. Or, skip it. It can't all be winners. Just skip it and move on already. It's basically like being a human person all the Please. time. You don't have to say human and person at the same time. Humans are people. It's implied. That's right. If you're going to shame Ken for the redundancies of Mojo Dojo Casa House, we're going to send you for doing the same thing. I'm like you now. Ugly and unwanted. Movie continues to behave like Kate McKinnon is some kind of hideous monster. And I have no choice but to send that sh you might expect me to now send this bike having more than two occupants, but tandem doesn't mean only two. It means two or more things in a line working together. So instead, I'm sending you for even suggesting it. Quit interrupting me, I got this. As soon as they figure out how to build that wall sideways and not just up, no one is gonna be able to get in or out. Immigration politics. We have to go back. Barbie Land needs saving. Oh, f off with this sudden change of heart. I'm not buying it, Sasha. You haven't had enough character development to convince me you care about that place. In 48 hours, Barbie Land becomes Ken Land. Even Greta can't resist the sweet, sweet taste of manufactured temporal base tension. Third act ticking clock will not be denied. Comes for us all eventually. I'm not pretty anymore. I'm sorry, what? Barbie's first line from her existential crisis is that she's not pretty anymore. It's not that her house and her world have come undone. It's not that she now has organs that can create tears. It's her looks. Doesn't this just validate all the pre-existing Barbie is superficial and only concerned with appearances hate? I'm not stereotypical Barbie pretty. Note to the filmmakers, Margot Robbie is the wrong person to cast if you want to make this point. Clever, funny, but make what point exactly? The movie hasn't even begun to address the body dysmorphia issues that can come from seeing a Barbie-like figure touted as the ideal form of beautiful. And it's not doing that here with this weird comment about Barbie not feeling pretty. I don't need the movie to cover every topic, but when you're dealing with Barbie's relationship to beauty standards, I need you to at least go deeper into why beauty is more than plastic teeth. You have to never get old, never be rude, never show off, never be selfish, never fall down, never fail, never show fear, never get out of line. It's too hard. It's too contradictory. And nobody gives you a medal or says thank you. America Ferrera rules. This whole speech rules. Women should rule. I did write a book. It's like I've been in a dream where I was somehow really invested in the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League. This joke is hilarious and will also be a reference nobody gets in 20 years, I hope. Ken's cannot resist a damsel in distress. Are you sure? Because Barbie was in distress on the lawn of Ken's Mojo Dojo Casa House for a while and not a single Ken rushed to her side. Oh my God, you've never seen The Godfather? Mm -hmm. This movie is a rich blend of Coppola's aesthetic genius. Target destroyed. I'm deceased. Get to Grate. Now that they think they have power over you, you make them question whether they have enough power over each other. God damn, that's horrific. This sin isn't for Barbie, but our actual world being f***ed up enough that this statement might accurately describe it. Oh, hey. You've caught me reading. The fact that he's reading a book called Man and Horse, The Long Ride Across America is a great commitment to this horse patriarchy gag. The problem is Ken only flashes the book for a split second. So if you don't play this conversation frame by frame, you miss it entirely. Don't waste your jokes, movie. No gag is too small. Ken sure is good at playing the guitar for someone whose job is beach. Does the title of long-term distance casual low commitment girlfriend mean nothing? Yelling like this when there's a megaphone two feet from your left hand. I'll see you on the Malibu beach. Sure. Isn't for a hoot? Oh, the hilarity. <laughs> Starting your Rochambeau by throwing scissors. You always start with paper against a male opponent because most males start with rock, meaning these two pick the one choice that makes no sense either way. And this movie of all movies should know better. I love everything about this hilarious dance fight. Well, except the movie completely just yada yada is how war somehow quickly turned into unity. But who needs actual character development when you have dancing cans? Are we supposed to vote today? Americans. Is it just my imagination that these Mojo Dojo Casa houses just get dreamier? That's because they're dream houses, mother 
censoring your swears. You're PG-13. You get at least one F-bomb. What self-respecting creative wouldn't have the f***ing conviction to just leave that f***ing sh** unbleeped? We've reinstated the Barbie Land Constitution. You did not. The Constitution was never changed. The Kens were going to vote on whether to change it, but since the Barbies voted that down, the original Constitution remained intact. Your legal framework was never altered. To be honest, when I found out that patriarchy wasn't about horses, I lost interest anyway. Jesus Christ, this man wants to f*** horses even more than John Oliver. I knew horse girls in middle school who wore leather pants with fringe down the side and brought horse thermoses for their lunch boxes. Even they didn't like horses this much. Tempting to cry kiss. Even if she were into you, man, she doesn't want your various face liquids mixing with her mouth liquids. We were only fighting because we didn't know who we were. Well, and the Barbies purposely used jealousy to manipulate you. Maybe it was a confluence of things is all I'm saying. Ken is right. It's just so hard to be a leader. Damn, I totally forgot you were in this movie. And also not sure you actually needed to be. That's a terrible idea. Yeah, that's going to make money. Oh, uh, ordinary Barbie, I love it. This movie treats unrestrained capitalism like a hilarious harmless Ken doll without any genitals. But my problem is that unrestrained capitalism absolutely has genitals and it's going to f*** us all someday. And then none of us will be laughing. Also, will inventing this new Barbie automatically populate Barbie land with a new member? Or do the Barbies have to make her and then she becomes a doll to be sold in the real world? I don't think we ever cleared up the chicken and the egg scenario here. That was always the point. I created you so you wouldn't have an ending. Oh, come on. There's way too much going on here for any of it to feel truly complete. This movie has so many resolutions, they should have titled it Return of the King. Baby, I am Mattel. Until the IRS got to me, but that's another movie. Oh, can that movie also touch upon how Barbie was actually based on a German doll called Bill Lily? I think that story deserves to be told as well. I don't really feel like Barbie anymore. Oh, sure, you say that now, Margot Robbie. But when you see the check for Barbie 2, I have a feeling you'll feel like her again in no time. The speed at which Ken and Mattel had this hoodie produced. Ideas live forever. Humans, not so much. Ideas do not live forever. Most of them die quickly. And the ones that live on will still die when the human race is wiped out by an asteroid in the year 2141, two weeks before the first interstellar mission is supposed to be launched. As Herman Stanhope stands watching the approaching annihilation of the world and the neutering of the years of work he put into the interstellar program as its head designer, his last thoughts will be of the irony of space conquering his species just before his species conquered space. It really does feel like a simulation sometimes, he will think, seconds before a giant rock ends not only his life, but that stupid idea he just had. Being a human can be pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, but what nobody tells you is that discomfort varies widely, depending on where you're born, your genetics, and the family wealth or poverty you're born into. You might want to warn Barbie about all that before she makes the wrong decision. Movie accidentally inspires millions of people to make the exact same TikTok using this song. Estoy muy orgulloso de ti. Damn. Well, it was a cold move for the movie to cast Link, but leave Rhett out. GMM fans are going to be pissed. I'm here to see my gynecologist. The smile that will soon be wiped forever from this face by the phrase, scoot forward just a little bit more and a lifetime terror of stirrups. Get the hell off the beach. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Here's Johnny. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Oh, no, man. Hi, 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 Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You're hurt. You're hurt real f***ing bad. I just scared the s*** out of me, Larry. I'm gonna die. I know it. Oh, excuse me. I didn't realize you had a degree in medicine. What do I have to do? You have to go to the real world to find out what happens <laughs> what? when people stop being polite. I'm going all the way up. Jesus, Joseph and Mary, is that a blue letter? Crape to muddy Why didn't you tell a guy? Hold on, folks. We're expressed to the top floor. Oh, we got her. There she is. It's a temporary setback. Mom! 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 Mommy! Mommy! Get in! Get in the car! I'm just having some brewski beers at my Mojo Dojo Casa house. The crowd is standing on its feet here at Augusta. Questing Iran from a serious musician is just, it's too far. My lord, did you just say a serious musician? Every night is boys night. We gotta go. We have to go back, Kate. 